Hi guys, today I want to show you how to add this kind of vintage look to your photos using Photoshop. Okay, let's start. Here is our photo and the first thing I want to do, I want to make shadows with a little bit of blue color and not so strong. So for this I will go to gradient map and I will choose firstly light blue color something like this and then here I will choose just black and I will use it like soft light okay and I will reduce opacity to like 20% 20, 20 Okay, so now our photo doesn't have that much contrast and shadows are with a bit of blue. The next thing I want to do is I want to reduce this yellow color and the intensity generally of these lights because I feel like they're overshining the model. I will go to selective color and I will choose yellow because they're yellow and I will add cyan, no, I will add more cyan and uh, I will add magenta, I will reduce yellow like this and I will add black. Okay, now it doesn't have that much light and I want to use black brush and to paint over white mask to remove it from face. And the next thing I want to do, I will go to hue saturation and I will choose yellow. And in yellow, I will just click on my light. And what I want to do, I want to go all the way in hue and uh, I will reduce saturation and I will reduce lightness. Okay, and uh, okay, that's too much, so let's make it something like that. And I think I will just make black mask and with white brush I can paint just over the lights. So the next thing I will go to gradient map and I will choose simple black and white gradient map, soft light and I will reduce opacity. Okay, and this adding contrast to our photo, then hue saturation and um, soft light. And I will add lightness and reduce a little bit of uh, saturation. And the opacity, let's make it like 50%, it's fine. Okay, the next thing I will go to color lookup and I'm going to choose, uh, I'm going to choose this color, okay, and uh, I will reduce opacity to 40%. And then I will go again to color lookup and oh, and I will choose um, this one and I will reduce opacity like to 50%. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to do, I will go to curves and I will add a little bit of light like this and I want it to be applied just to dark parts of the photo so I will go to apply image background normal invert okay yeah uh, the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to gradient map and I will choose one of my favorite, which is this orange color. And I will use it like soft light. And for sure I will reduce opacity like till 9%. Just a little bit. 
So the next thing I will go to selective color and in yellow I will add a little bit of red and uh, a little bit of yellow and uh, I will add black. Okay, then next I will go to red and in red I will add yellow and I will add black. Okay, so now we have more texture in the face. So the next thing I'll go again to selective color, just I want it to be in another layer and uh, I will choose black and in black I will reduce a bit of yellow. Okay, and then I go again to selective color and I will go to red. I will add a bit of cyan, magenta will leave how it is, a little bit of yellow and a bit of more red or, or, and a bit, sorry, a bit of black. Okay, the next thing I will go to curves and now I want to add some light to the photo like this and the next I will go again to selective color and I want to in neutrals I want to add a little bit of cyan yellow and black okay so like this we have this kind of vintage look and probably I will reduce it a bit and the next thing I will go to gradient map and in gradient map I'm going to choose this one which called red, blue, yellow. Okay, and I will choose screen. So it will not be that dark and I will reduce opacity like till 9 or 8 percent. Okay, and the last thing I want to do is I will go to hue saturation and again I will choose soft light and uh, now I want to add more lightness and probably I can reduce a bit of opacity, okay. So I want to go back to my curves which we add to the shadows. Okay, because I feel like I want to change them a bit. Our gradient map, yeah, maybe I will lower opacity of gradient map. A little bit more. And hue saturation, probably also I will lower the opacity. So, and now we can see before and after. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like, leave a comment. And if you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe.